Now, I've never really liked the novel stuff. I found it quite dense. Uh, maybe I'm dense. Who knows? You know, it's one or the other. The main intersection up is where we go from here. Find this selection. This could take us anywhere. I don't want protection. Life is better off the line. Stravinsky, one of our most influential musicians in the 20th century. You know, you should go for that. Oh, who's going to vote for me? Well, I would for a start. Yeah, you're so right for first year. Oh, I don't think it's quite your bag. It's basically a popularity contest. And yet, yeah, you're going for it. Oh, why not? Fantastical. It's like Mean Girls, but actually happening. Surprised you're not going for it, Danny. Nah, it's, uh, it's not our old mate. Oh, my oh, my class. Oh. <laughs> Hi, hi, ladies. Hi. Um, we're campaigning for uh, Danny Miller. You know the, the cutie with the booty? Just, just ladies, show. you know Danny Miller. Yeah. Good old Danny boy's gonna get the shock of his life. <laughs> See it. <laughs> Type of chord can be modified, giving a different feeling to... Danny, will you pay attention? I was. What was the last thing I said? Uh, Danny, will you pay attention? <laughs> <laughs> Seeing as you know everything about chord structure, perhaps you could give us an example of melodic minor ascending on the piano. That all you see <laughs> is violence in movies and sex on TV. But where are those good old-fashioned values on which we used to rely? Danny. Lucky there's a family guy. Lucky there's a man who positively can do all the things that makes us laugh and cry. He's a family guy. Very much for that, and I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> not you, Danny. Does anyone else get the feeling Anna's not a fan of postmodern animated cult TV? She's got bigger cojones than me winding up like that. Do you even know what cojones are? Some kind of Mexican food? I've never really understood that expression. Canteen. No, no, we've got a radio show to do, man. Me to yum, man. Yum? Yeah, eat, scoff, trough. Crazy teams. Another language. What's this? Salami and red pepper on chia batter. Some of us think ahead. Come on. I was just having a laugh. Forget the song. Danny, you're a great musician. Bags of potential. But the minute we touch on theory, you just switch off. Well, I just want to play. You know, all this theory work, it, it drives me mad. I understand that. But unfortunately for you, it's part of the syllabus. And I'm still waiting for that essay. About the dead foreign bloke. Yeah. Stravinsky. Bless you. Look, I I'm sorry, you know, it's my computer, it's... Use one of the school's computers. You've got to the end of the week. Hiya. Caesar salad, I think. No entrance. Right. Or croutons. Okay. And hold the dressing. Just let it in. Perfect. And a pasty. Oh. 
she read you the riot act? Ah, nothing I can't handle. Come on, Dan. We can do this the easy way or the hard way. I'm cool. Honest. Fine. Do what you like. <laughs> okay. You know, it's this essay, Stravinsky. Mm, is that all? Now, that's easy enough for you to say. You know, you've probably done it 20 minutes after the assignment was given out. 25. Look, I'm not worried if I fail music theory. No, Danny, you know we have to pass theory. Look, I'll help you if you like. Really? Of course. Yeah, yeah, but you're not going to tell me some swat like you, are you? <laughs> I'm good, but I'm not that good. Reckon I could smooth over some of those rough edges, though. Ah, so you want to change me now? Ah, you'll thank me for it in the end. Face facts, Danny boy. I'm the best thing that's ever happened to you. Attention, please. <laughs> Votes are in for the new first year rep, and the four students who are nominated are, in no particular order, Darren Quinn. Who? Yes. Lauren Waters. Yes. Claudine Cameron. And Danny Miller. <laughs> uh, I never even went for it. Is this you guys? It was a tough campaign, but we came through VD. I don't want to be first year rep. Which is what makes this so very amusing. Uh, elections are Friday. Each candidate will have three minutes to make a short speech and do whatever else they want to impress the rest of you. So be daring. Show us what you got. He means talent-wise. I've just had some other very exciting news. I've got confirmation that Nicola and Kimberly from Girls Aloud will be joining us as our special guests next week. Uh, they have very kindly agreed to do a Q&A session which will provide an invaluable insight into what it takes to succeed in this business. Furthermore, the session will be chaired by the new first year rep who will join me and the girls afterwards for dinner. I don't believe it. Now, 
If that's not incentive enough to win on Friday, I don't know what is. Good luck to all of you. Well, thanks, lads. You know, might be nice to do my bit. Represent the school with that. You think you've got it in the bag, don't you? I might surprise you and whip both your butts. Well, ladies, it's like we've got a fight on our hands. Friday's the big day, people. Remember, it's your student rep and your vote counts. But before you make your minds up, we've got the tiniest confession to make. Remember how we were campaigning for Danny Miller? Well, we may have made a mistake, we may have. We thought he'd appreciate the challenge. But now we realise he'd probably be the worst first year rep, well, in the history of first year reps. He's lazy, indolent. Hey, that's not true. He laughed so hard one time, he nearly had a little accident. No, 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 that's incontinent. Indolent's another word. Don't worry about it. If I don't have you Is that what you're doing for the election? Does it sound okay? Safe, babe. Don't you think doing a Whitney number's a tinsy bit? X Factor. What's your big idea, then? I'm going the classy route, naturally. I'm reading a very beautiful, a very moving poem, If by Kipling. Well, he does make exceedingly good cakes. What are you going to do, Danny? Sing? Fling foot? What? I, I don't know. Might just flash in my megawatt smile and uh, hope for the best, Misty. <laughs> do you want to get started on that Stravinsky? I talk you type? Mm -hmm. What every girl wants to hear. <laughs> I think I'm definitely going to keep it in that lower key, though, Lola, because those high notes are killing me. OK, cool. I think I'm going to go for a long hot bath. Make myself look beautiful. You're already beautiful, darling. You're just saying that. Stand there. Let me have a look at you. Turn to the left a bit. Well? Keep very still. I'll only be a couple of hours. Hmm. Well, I shouldn't really be doing this. I know, but now we're political rivals. Maybe you should be out there canvassing. <laughs> I mean, we've got work to do. Stravinsky? Oh, it's such a downer, though. You know, who actually cares about dead composers? Mm. They're here to perform, you know. It's called an education. All these essays. I thought we'd be done with all that when I left school. <clears throat> no choice, though, have we, if we want to stay here? <clears throat> Apparently the theory stuff gets really full on next term. <clears throat> what did you mean you should be out there canvassing? What about you? Nah, it's, uh, to see what happens. <laughs> you're just saying that because you so know you're going to lose. Ah, so you think you're going to beat me, do you? No, oh, trust me, brains over beauty. Ah, uh, yeah. <gasps> <laughs> right, loser. Let's get back to dead composers. <laughs> Cabaret in Chicago have more than stood the test of time. I mean, if Bob Fosse can make it from Chorus Huffer to creating these massive... Mm. Thanks, everybody. Good luck to those going for first year rep. Uh, Danny. Good word. Is uh, everything all right? Look like you've been somewhere else for the last hour. Yeah, sorry, uh, just thinking about the election. Anna mentioned you've fallen behind with your theory work. You still owe her an essay, don't you? Yeah, I, I've done it now. Um, you know, it's all under control. It's just, if you're struggling now, maybe first year rep's not such a good idea. No, I'm not struggling. It's a lot of extra work on top of what you got already. Yeah, I can handle it, yeah? It's cool. Good.
Here's your essay. Uh, maybe you'll stop slagging me off to the other teachers now, yeah? People may not understand that our love shines so brightly. Oh, so brightly, our love shines brightly through. Thanks, Aaron. Thank you. <laughs> For that song from your work in progress, Anton Deck, the musical. Right, your next candidate, Lauren. Start the clock, come on. Hi. I know some of you don't know me, but um, I believe passionately in the school, and I'll be as loyal to you as my Billy, Barney and Bobby are to me. <laughs> They're my dogs at home. <laughs> oh my God. Anyway, um, I hope you like this. change my colors for you take my love I'll never ask for too much just all that you are can't wait for her to really hit those high do. notes I don't really need to look very much further I don't want to have to go Where you don't follow I won't hold it back again This passion inside I can't run from myself There's nowhere to hide Well, don't make me close on my door I don't want to hide He goes up again next course, doesn't it? Thank you, Lauren. <laughs> Thank you. Amazing high notes. Okay. Next up, Claudine. Start the clock. Well, you all know me. So, I'm sure you all realise what a superb rep I'd make for you. I'd like to read If by Rudyard Kipling. Um, yeah, if, if you keep your head while all around are losing theirs, then you'll probably be okay. And if I get chosen, I vow to use my powers only for good. And, you know, I also believe children are the future. Teach them well and let them lead the way. It's not exactly I have a dream, is it? <laughs> Anyhow, the upshot is, vote me. I'm great. Thanks, Billy. Thanks. I haven't seen anyone die quite so spectacularly since the last act of Romeo and Juliet. Danny, a word. Anyway, uh, now your next and final candidate, Danny. Sorry.
I'm the man. It's insulting. I, I'm sorry. It's just with the election. You were warned about that. That F stands for fail. And if I were you, I'd have a long, hard think about my future here. Because if that's the level of effort you think you can get away with, you're at the wrong school. Danny, congratulations on the win. I'm uh, glad I've seen you. Can you come to the office with me? I've got some things for you to look over. Now, I know it seems a lot, but you've got to learn how the school works. It's a big responsibility, this. Oh, I've been thinking. You could do a blog for our website as well. Huh. I've never had sushi before. Really? You surprise me. Oh, pack it in, Claudine. No one likes a sore loser. I'm not a loser, OK? I just... Didn't win. Yellowtail? I can't eat a parrot. My grandma had one when I was little. Deep breath, so... babe. Yellowtail's tuna. Oh, he's our glorious leader. Check out the menu, Dan. It looks awesome. Have oh, what you're having. I can't always do that. Just have a look. I said I have what you're having. What's all that? I've up on the school, haven't I? Nugent wants me to do, like, a, a daily blog on the website. Nightmare. Oh, mate, are you not forgetting girls aloud? You're going to get cosy with a couple of fit, minty birds. She was crazy for birds, my grandma. And not just parrots. She used to have a little budgie called Alan. Do, do you realise you say these things out loud? Babe, if it's this blog that's bugging you, I can help you if you like. What, like you help me with my essay? Huh? Well, Anna failed me, didn't she? I was only trying to help. I didn't... Yeah, well, she said it's garbage, so... Cheers. Get her. I don't believe this. These are just the notes I took down. He didn't even bother to write them up. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have gone off at you about the essay. I don't get it. You know what Anna's like. How can you just give in those notes I made you like they were an essay? Danny, talk to me. 
I try and help you and you just go off at me in front of everyone. I, I said I'm sorry, didn't I? Everything okay? Oh, shove off, Claudine. I've just been looking at the website. Not done a blog yet, Dan. No. Um, you uh, fancy helping me? Sure. Um, I talk you type. Perfect. <laughs> Danny. Ladies, this is the guy I was telling you about. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good. Really nice to meet you. You too. Danny's our first year rep. Uh, he'll be chairing your interview later on. Uh, and apparently he's one of our most talented students. Oh. Ah, got some talent, eh, Danny? Yeah, you better believe it. Oh, so you'll be gentle with us then in the Q&A? Yeah, it should be cool, you know. <laughs> Everyone's well excited. <laughs> How many questions she done? 23. All in bright pink lettering. Nobody said anything about maximum number. What are you asking? It's private. Private. Lola? Audience. Audience, Lola. This is what they like. Yeah, they're dead normal. And they're really nice. I have to introduce them to me. My mates are going to be so jealous. We can write about it on the blog tonight. Maybe even link it to the girls' site. Oh, check it out. It's John and Yoko. You really need to update your reference points. What's going on with you and Danny? Very subtle. What's the point in beating around a bush? It's fine. I don't know what's going on. Can you believe he's got Claudine doing his blog for him? Look. Maybe cool, guys. Morning, losers. I take it back. <laughs> Loving the blog, Dan. Hollywood's buffest actors in the movies where they get their tops off. Cutting edge, mate. Ten alternative uses for a mascara one. Oh, I wouldn't mind seeing that. So, Claudine's helping me. What's wrong with that? Oh, nothing, mate. But Lauren's doing your essay. Claudine's doing your blog. What exactly is it that you do? Yeah, what do you do? <laughs> What's going on with you? What? Oh, is that all you can say? Right. Come on, Danny. Short time. Look, just get off my case, yeah? That's what you want. I better get down the front as your co blogger and right hand woman. All the perfumes of Arabia will not sweeten this little hand. What? Lady Macbeth. No? This is all about you getting to be the power behind the throne. I'm just trying to do my bit for the good of the school. Look, Claudine, um, they're right about the block. It's, it's making me look stupid. Really? Uh, well, um, do you think it might be a good idea to, you know, um, not just write about yourself? Fine. It's all yours. I'll start my own blog. Uh, no, I no, didn't mean... you're right. Silly me, doing all your work for you. You've got Lauren for that. There you go. Uh, I've weeded out the dull and the moronic. Uh, 23 to be precise. All written in pink. Yeah, uh, I thought people would just ask questions from the floor. <laughs> oh, you're joking, are you? Tried that before. All we ended up with was questions about boyfriends and shoes. No, this way I can pick stuff that's relevant to the business. Is Danny excited? Right, everyone. Don't ask me. We're very honoured to have with us two members of one of this country's most successful bands. So could you please give a massive Britannia High welcome to Nicola and Kimberly of... So, uh, first off, ladies, um, I'd just like to welcome you to the school. You must be uh, 
Delighted to meet me. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good to get the chance to share all our experiences in the music industry. You know, and it'll make a nice change from being asked silly questions like, what's your favourite colour? So, uh, let's kick it off with... What's your favourite colour? <laughs> <laughs> Aeroplane grey? Putty? <laughs> Being great. Yeah, I think she was joking, babe. Yeah, right. Kimberly Pussy. So, where did you meet? <laughs> we met on Pop Stars Arrivals. <laughs> yeah, I was just. Are you okay? Uh, so, um, yeah, that tune you did, um, Freak Like Me. Yeah, that was the sugar base. Where are girls allowed? I thought this was going to be like a serious insight to the music industry and that. What's he doing? He's making a prat of himself. I thought you'd have loads of questions. Has anybody got any questions? I thought we might have had at least a couple of fans from Britannia High. <laughs> I'm a fan. Your number one fan. I love you girls loud. <laughs>
students, Danny. Better than you think. I followed you, you geek. So you're gonna tell me how I'm throwing everything away? No, you know all that already. So, are you gonna quit? Mm -hmm. That's what's coming, isn't it? A few more episodes like that one in there, and then you storm off for good in a great big indignant huff. Maybe this just wasn't meant to be for me. Why? Because you can't read. We've had dozens of dyslexic pupils here, Danny. <laughs> no, that's just a five quid word for thick. It's a medical condition. If you've been diagnosed with dyslexia... I haven't. You've never seen someone about this, a specialist. No. Oh. You have to get diagnosed. We have a brilliant specialist here. And as soon as we know the that problem... What about if he tells me I'm not dyslexic? <laughs> that I'm just... plain old-fashioned thick. What do I do then? Danny... In my experience... It's not your experience. It's mine. You know, this, this place... performing... It's all I've got. You don't have to lose it. You know, I've been kidding myself. How the hell am I gonna get through a hundred-page scripts if I can't even get through a Mr. Men book? With help. Same as Keanu Reeves, Orlando Bloom, Tom Cruise. They're all dyslexic. Tom Cruise? It's actually pretty common. You know, my favorite ever time as a kid was when, was when mum took us to Spain on holiday. I didn't read nothing either. It's all in foreign. We were all in the same boat. It's time to get out of the boat, Tony. You have to face this. Oh, probably be better than I do. You should teach me sometime. <laughs> Ace, I can um, book a studio here anytime you like. <sighs> it's so weird because um, airplane grey and putty are my favourite colours too. Uh, great <laughs> minds, eh? It was really nice to meet you anyway. I'll talk Thank you. I still have 22 questions I need you to answer. That was weird. Did you see his face? Something ain't right. Don't worry about it. He probably ate a dodgy curry and had an urgent call. <laughs> Man, if I'd have been up there with girls laughing, I'd have turned it on. You know what I'd have asked them. Um, whether they could live without A, eyelash curlers or B, body glitter. What? I have acquired all 23 of Lola's questions to girls aloud. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, thanks to girls aloud for coming to the school. Um, unfortunately, our friend Lola didn't get the chance to ask many of her questions. Lucky for her, though, we've managed to get hold of them, and we thought we'd give you, our cherished listeners, an insight into the crazy world of Lola. Hi, I'm like Lola, and I'm like so totally excited to be here today. I love you girls aloud. And like, do you have any questions? In your professional opinion, who's fitter? Usher or Justin? <laughs>
I'll have what you're having. I talk, you type. Anna told me. It's okay. Mm. I know what I need to do now. So, uh, I'm, I'm going on this, uh, residential course today. I mean, I'm never going to find reading easy, but I'm going to do what I can to stay. And I really am sorry for acting like an idiot. Apology accepted, man. Dyslexia's like so cool. Keanu Reeves has that. And Orlando Bloom. What? Will you be okay? I don't know. I'm gonna give him my best shot though. Good luck, Danny Boy. Told you guys the whole truth. I just not telling the truth. Ready? Ta-da! This is not the place for my son. It's not a real career. Is this something you need to get out? You look me in the eye, you lie. I can't be tired with that lie. If he finds out, everything is over. Everything. 